Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the review. This time is the SH Figure Arts Star Wars Princess Leia from Star Wars A New Hope. So, let's get started. Uh, this figure is uh, mostly a static figure. I'm going to jump out and just say that right away. Although it looks absolutely phenomenal, I think you're pretty sure you know what you're getting. But uh, it's nice to have, but I guess we're going to talk about it as we go along. It doesn't say that I'm not excited about it, but I'm a little sick. But, <clears throat> excuse me. But I do want to say that the face sculpt is absolutely wonderful, and I'm really glad to get a Carrie Fisher figure, especially from New Hope. But I was more looking forward to a general Leia, but I would gladly take a princess Leia. Anyway, let's get started on the review. Uh, I want to start by saying again, the face sculpt is phenomenal. I love it. And considering I have an old boy version, this is really nice to have, and I'll compare them later. But um, the digital face print is actually really good on this. And I know sometimes the Bandai stuff gets really spotty, so yeah. Anyway, let's get into it. The head articulation is actually very nice. There is a great range on the figure, whereas the rest of the figure, obviously because of the plastic, it's going to be a problem for articulation, at least for the lower half. But it's really nice to know that the head articulation is actually done really well to help her be a lot more expressive. One thing I also want to talk about is that the buns can actually come off, and that's uh, for part of when you're face swapping. So just keep that in mind. The hood on the back is actually soft plastic. I would have liked a uh, very nice uh, fabric one. So I'm looking at CJ or Harker for this. So we'll probably get into that another time. The arm articulation is actually very nice and simple. It's what we get for all of the Jedi. You actually get a nice fold up and rotating, a hidden biceps over here. So it's gonna rotate at 90 degrees, really, really nice and simple. <clears throat> as well as a nice little fold that rotates over. And you can fold right over the plastic so you can get a nice better range. There's also a small butterfly joint into her shoulder, so you can actually pull forward a little. Not a lot, as much as other characters, but you can pull it forward. There's also a drag down rotating uh, look. Excuse me, I'm trying to adjust the light so that way you guys can make sure you see everything. As far as the ab articulation for the ab crunch, it is a swivel, much like the Ryu from Street Fighter. It can swivel down, it can swivel back, it can swivel across, so that's something you're going to keep in mind. So this figure is obviously very simple. So if you, you know, like the soft good one of the Black Series one, it makes total sense of why you, you wouldn't want to buy this. But the face print is absolutely phenomenal. But the leg articulation is actually uh, really great because, and I hate to do this, but you're going to rotate her skirt up. So we're going to see the articulation. I'm going to hold it there. <clears throat> but you have a little bit of the drop down technique. There is a thigh swivel here. So you can see here, the leg actually has a great amount of range. So if you're going to get soft goods, you will get much better range for this figure. There's also a very good ankle pivot on this figure as well. So while the figure itself is very much articulated, it's mostly hindered by the plastic. So CJ Harker, if you guys are going to make some soft goods for this, I will gladly get some. I'm giving you a shout out here because I would very much like one. I would probably play with this figure a ton more should it have soft goods. But because it's so hindered by the plastic, I'm probably not going to play with it nearly as much. But I do know that the figure absolutely has great potential. As far as the accessories that she comes with, there is an extra face with her looking to the left. which actually looks even more like her. So, so beautiful. It's really nice. I think the face print done here is absolutely phenomenal. And they've gotten better with it because sometimes it gets really spotty. Especially with the Han. The first one was really spotty, but the second one actually came out a ton better on the re-release. Then we have the open hood. Now, for the hood, what you're going to do is you're going to pop the head off. Really easy to do that. I'm going to replace this hood piece. And then you're going to place the head inside where the ball joint matches. Like that. Bring it right down. And then we have the hood on. And that's a really nice hood. It's very simple. It is a nice piece. I wish it would have fit completely over. Because when you, even when you put a head back, it kind of doesn't fit completely. I would have liked a better hood for this. But it still gets the job done. It's very simple, very to the point. You can get your gimmick going. Like I said, I would have loved this figure if it was soft goods. I think it would have been a ton better. As far as the accessories, as well as she comes with, she comes with a Stormtrooper Blaster. I do not know the name of Star Wars weapon, so I do apologize. This is a really nice simple blaster you get with Stormtroopers that she's stolen, obviously, like in the movie. It's really nice. Then you get this really nice pistol that she has. Again, don't know the type of it, but it's also really nice. It has a very large barrel, which is really cool. 
I think this looks really cool and badass for her to have. Excuse my language for the children watching. As far as hand accessories, you have these open palms, which look a lot less relaxed than these ones. These ones look more like holding for opening action, probably holding blasters in both hands. <clears throat> then you get trigger fingers for both the left and the right. So if Leia wants to be a total, you know, you know, badass, <laughs> you can actually uh, hold trigger fingers in both hands. So that's pretty cool. That's all that she comes with. But it's a very nice, very simple figure. If you like Carrie Fisher, this is a must have for the face print alone. But if you want something a little more, I'm pretty sure people are kit bashing or creating ones from the Black Series figures. So there's that. The choice is really with you. Anyway, let's jump into con um, <clears throat> let's jump into size comparisons. Talk about what's going on. Real quick, using the Black Series Leia body, I have a my Jedi Leia, which has uh, CJ's Jedi uh, clothing swap, and then we have the old boy General Leia head. So as you can see, it looks really nice. It's painted really well. But the face tech on this one actually looks really, really good. And I'm not sure if I hear it brown or black. I honestly don't remember which one is which. So you'll have to bear with me on that one. In the black series, you can see it's honestly a bit shorter than the SHF one is. So that, that's something I actually didn't see happening, but it actually is. And this uses the Princess Leia body it's from before. So next up, I'm going to compare it to some more SHF Star Wars stuff. And then we're going to get into other lines. Here she is next to her brother, Luke. I don't have farm boy Luke anymore. I don't know actually what happened to it. So that's size comparison with him. Here she is next to Han. Now as you can see, she's very small compared to others. Here she is with New Hope Darth Vader in the picture. And last but not least, Chewie. I don't have a C-3PO. So size-wise, she is... By far the smallest who is not R2-D2, which I have a Black Series one right here. So you can see just how big he is. <clears throat> so there we are with size wise. She's the smallest one. Actually, she looks really great next to everyone. I think everyone face tech wise, even the Han looks Hanish. So I'm okay with it. Um, it looks really nice. It looks really, really nice. And I'm glad to see how far we've come with the Star Wars line and they continue to grow. Just wish we had soft goods. I know I keep repeating that, but it would have been perfect. Anyway. Here she is next to a Stormtrooper, so you can get a scale going. That's an SHF one. Now we're going to compare it with other lines, starting with a Figma. We're going to do Figma Ruler. So size-wise, they're in the same size range. Not the same size, but the range, at least as well. Here they are with SHF Kamen Rider. That's Kamen Rider Rogue. Now we're going to do Marvel Legends Vision. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here's a Marvel Legends Vision. Here is a Mythic Legions Elf Builder. Next up, we're going to do an Articulated Icons Ninja and a 1000 Toys Synthetic Human, or this one being a carb. And then, last but not least, ooh, good balance there. Last but not least, we're going to do a Mezco. Ooh, and then she fell. <laughs> this is my Mezco cable using the Punisher body, so you can know the size and reference. So Leia is actually pretty small. But considering her size, I think it actually works really, really well in frame with other lines. If you're going to maneuver things around, kind of make it work for your own little universe, it's fine. All in all, I like the Leia. I know the price point may turn people off, especially because it's a high-end import. Well, middle-end import. So that's something that uh, you got to take into mind. If you are fine with the Black Series, I think you'll be totally okay. But if you like SHF, you want to continue your SHF line, I think she's a must-have. Especially because I'm pretty sure at this point, someone will do a soft goods conversion and you should probably take advantage of it. In the meantime, guys, hope you enjoyed. Hope you found it informative. And most of all, hope you guys do good, be good, drink your water. Later.